All right, that's an early in the morning. Last day kayaking in Hawaii since the Hawaii's fly out tomorrow. But before we go get our last lap, I had to do one thing before leaving this trip, and that is get a measurement of Narnia. I've been dying to know since I ran it last year. I never got a chance to measure it last year because the rivers were too high. But ever since last year, I've just been wanting to know because I think this drop is in the triple digits, but until I measure it, there's just no way to know. And a lot of times waterfalls are just super hard to know just by looking at it because, you know, narrow waterfalls often look a lot bigger than super wide ones. And Narnia is definitely, it seems really tall and I most definitely am anxious to know. So currently on my way up, got my drone, I've fallen all over the place. <laughs> got my throw bags. Got the drone, about to uh, kite through this jungle here, walk up the creek bed over to the lip, and finally gonna get an idea of how tall this drop is. How excited, because I've wanted to know for a while. Only ran into like my hundredth spider web just now. <laughs> just made it to Narnia, literally that's the creek bed. Just came out of it. That's the lip of Narnia. This place is so sick, because like Narnia is huge, and I'm about to find out how big it really is. But from here, you can see all the way to the coast and some of Hilo. So it really looks like you're just falling off the face of the earth from here. Like this is probably like a hundred footer or whatever it is. But I do remember Ben, I was here to run it. When you're coming off this lip, it looks like you're about to fall off like a 300 footer. Where I went off, right there. When I was here, it was uh, substantially higher than this. But what's funny is that I got to scout it at these flows, like where it was super low, and I got to check the depth and all of that. But then once it was time to come up here and run it, there was so much spray that I couldn't see the base. So I'm definitely curious to see how tall this thing actually is, because from here, it's tall. So both of these ropes are 70 feet. I've tried some other techniques, but old fashioned ropes, the way to go. Gonna go ahead and sit down for this. <laughs> well, the rope's in the water, so we know that it's not 140. <laughs> All right, drone, you calm down. It's actually a little harder than I expected to see the bag on the drone. Where are you? I've got the rope down by the water level. It took me a little while to find it on the drone. I'm pretty much at the exact same height as the lip right now. Now when I pull on the rope, I see it lift on the drone, so I've got the tension. I've got the spot on the rope. I'm gonna mark it off. I'm gonna tie a knot, pull it up. Let's see how tall this thing is. Well, one bag done. We know it's at least 70 feet. Oh, wow. That happened a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is going to be tall. Wink band should be right around your height. I'm like 5'6". This will at least give me a sense for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it's over 100. Seven, eight. Eight and three quarters. If I'm doing this completely wrong, someone let me know. This is the understanding that we have when we were Googling it and trying to find the best way to do it because we didn't have tape measure on us. I'm gonna do one last Google on wingspan. That's 48. All right, so 48 feet. So yeah, this thing's tall. <laughs> I mean, I knew that, but I definitely, with all that spray last year, it was hard to tell if it was in the triple digits or not. We had a feeling that it was like right around 110, 115, but sometimes it's just hard to tell. Some drops just look really big, even though they're not that tall, and some don't look as tall, but that are plenty tall. 48 feet plus the 70 feet in the other row. So yeah, 118. Sick. It's been killing me that I didn't know how tall this thing was. Such a sick drop. So stoked I got to run this thing last year. I don't know if I'll run it again. It's sick, but it's got like a 15 footer below it. It's super stout. The rowdy blind lip. What about to run it again where my GoPro doesn't shut off? Nope, that's never the reason to run it. So it's fun to have a measurement. Now I'm gonna head back. We're gonna go get our last lap on the water. Last lap on the Wailuku at Prime Flows. It's gonna be a good day. All right, here at Waiuli Falls, it is our last day 
kayaking here in Hawaii before he fly out tomorrow. Today's the last chance to run the river, but luckily it is still at prime flow. But right now we're at Waiali Falls to drop above the bridge. We haven't done it this trip because it's either been too high, or when you're looking up from the bridge, it looks good, but then when you get to the lip, it's kind of a weird like 40 footer. But because it's the last day, we were like, okay, we gotta, we gotta go up and get a lap. So we hiked up. Looks about how it always looks. It's kind of a weird entrance. It kind of bucks you a little bit, and then it's like 35, maybe 40 feet. It's a funky one, but it, it's worth doing at least once, and we haven't done it this trip, and I didn't get to do it last trip. So I was like, all right, let's motivate out to do it. Yeah, this has been one hell of a trip. It's been so good. For only two weeks, we've gotten like so much good stuff. Looking forward to one last lap with the boys. Perfect level, beautiful sunshine. It's gonna be a sick day. And this is a solid way to start it off. <laughs> All right. Dave, it's a funky one, huh? Yeah, I just kind of just fall in. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my towel though. Yeah, you get that mouth guard. It's your boy. I look good. No, I think about this level, I guess you get less white out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. For my last day, I decided for fun, I'd just go ahead and take out Caleb's Nirvana that he left here. It sits under Bob's deck. It's funny, this will actually be the second time in like almost over a year that I've been in a Nirvana or anything other than the Antics. I've just been in the Antics except for that like one lap at Green Race. <laughs> it's gonna be fun pounding in Nirvana again. Drop, you'd want to I'll wait for one of you to be in the eddy then. Cockpit. I know. So sick routing into that. I love it. That was my 11th lap on that drop. I think the sixth time we've run it this trip. Unfortunately, my streak did end on the 10th lap of staying upright. And then yesterday when we ran it, I got window shaded twice. I stayed upright again today. <laughs> it's so funny just having that be like just part of the run. <laughs> Man, we really wish that middle. Middle Palgeen was still a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that more than Middle Palgeen though. Did you ever run that? Yeah, we used to do that every day. Pooper swim. We, we, me and Benny would route off it and just bomb straight into uh, stop 10. Meet up in the eddy in between stop 10 and the drop. So we just watched each other go off and then went off. But it was super low, that's why. I, keep, I feel like I keep waiting later and later to throw my paddle. So I think that's why I keep being like <laughs>
so much goodness packed into one section. And a nice stout halfway through to, you know, get the nerves up. You look like you took a big hit. Yeah, you look like this. Yeah. Go, go! <laughs> I was like, this is not efficient! You're fired from being in front! <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, oh no, it's What happened? Neither of us had it. <laughs> okay. I love it. There's just so much in that run. I love how it's just holding it like the perfect level. <laughs> I don't know if I could do like a week more of just that every day though. Yeah. I would get so sore. Fantastic lap. Hey, did you get my part? Hi babe, can you come bail us out of jail? Yeah, can I what? Can you come bail us out of jail? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> cool. Well that was fantastic. That section blows my mind every time, especially at these flows, because everything is so good, but then it's also still a pride flow for Raptor, which is one of my favorite like 50 footers of all time especially when you start running it every day it's just like so good yeah that was a splendid trip i'm so fired up on how everything turned out and now it's time to go chill at the beach for a few days relax let the body recover fly back to the gorge you yep.